Hello, party people. What's going on? I'm here and I'm... Well, I'm not queer exactly, but I'm here. <laughs> At least I'm here. Um, and I am ready to roll? Ready to rock? Ready to rumble? No. Ready to read you a book. A banned book. Actually, they tried to get this banned when I was in elementary school in the 1990s. It was almost December. Nah, let's not read a book. Let's make faces, shall we? You know, did you know that if you get wrinkle lines on your forehead, there are treatments for that. There's injections, there's creams, oils, serums. Soon they'll probably be able to insert very small robots into your forehead, which will travel through the cells of your skin and pop them out until you look fresh as foam. And then everyone will say, wow, that is the picture of youth. They'll want you, they'll love you, they'll hire you, they'll bite you, they'll stick you, and then they'll cook you and they'll eat you, just the same. So, not too much to worry about in this life, actually. Um, except for the fact that there are infinite numbers of things, there are infinite variations, colors, sights, sounds, feelings, nuances, thoughts, e emotions. It's, it can be so fucking beautiful. And it can also, it, you can waste years and years and years, just waste years and years and years of your life. It feels like you can waste them. We all know this. Um, there is choice. There is choice sometimes. 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 Now, I don't know how many times I said sometimes, but did I have a choice over whether I said it that many times or did I not have a choice over that? I don't know. I was trying. I felt like I didn't want to say it any more times. I was like, no, I think three is enough. And then I'll go four and then I'll go five and then I'll go six. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Is that a choice or is it not a choice? Am I possessed? Am I possessed by a spirit of whatever, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. Do whatever you're gonna do. I mean, could it be a choice? 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 Could it be a choice to make anything? I don't know, man. Who's man? Who's man? Are you man? Do you guys mind if this camera is shaking? Does that even matter? Because I, I always worry about it. Um, but maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe none of this matters. I've only slept four and a half hours today and it's the end of the day. So I figured it was a great time to make a video because, you know, I don't even feel like holding my body up. I'm tired. I literally want to fall asleep. So I'm like resting on my hands. Um, Gravity always wins. That's a, a, a lyric from Karma Police by the band the band by the band by the band radiohead gravity always wins gravity gravity i'll get some jowls it all happened so fast 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 what if we all looked like this though i like that i'm a fan i am a fan i'll tell you that so um, wonder how much longer I can not say anything for minutes and 30 seconds. <sighs> content creator right here. Look at this. Content. I'm the content. What about the wall behind me? That's also the content. They used to say capiche. If you ever 
I don't know. You know what I mean? Capiche? They used to say that. So, so, I mean, I guess, Rick, I could just go to bed at this point, right? I really wonder, I'm gonna see if anyone watches this with the camera shaking, because it's been so irritating to make sure that I don't do that. I don't, I don't know if it actually matters. Maybe, it does, maybe none of this matters. Maybe literally none of this matters. I was thinking about, yeah, production quality and like I have a blank white background, but I could, I could keep both of those doors open, bedroom, bathroom. And just ha and in fact, the door behind me too, that's laundry. So it could just be all of it, just exposure full of it. Um, make it as unprofessional as possible and ugly and confusing and all everything in your face as possible. Why not? Because... I'm not trying to sell you anything, so it doesn't really, does it matter though? Does it matter? Laziness or perfection or obsession or somewhere in between, does it matter? I don't know, man. Just think of all the things that people have done though. Like I was saying yesterday to someone, I always think about all the people who are stuck in basements. It's, it, it's so, yeah, it's just so, I don't know what you would say it is. People that are trapped in basements, kidnapped and so on and so forth, like, just walking down the street, you wouldn't even know it. Um, so many different situations, you know? There's so many different situations. Like, literally anything you can imagine is probably happening right now, somewhere on the planet. Bet you there's someone sitting on the, like on a hayloft on a perfect e summer evening, looking at the blue moon illuminating I don't know, a dirt road outside of the barn or some some very picturesque <laughs> sight and they're feeling all of the most good and expansive feelings that a body and mind could feel in that situation. So many, I mean, anything you can imagine is happening, right? Um, just any, literally anything, it's wild. Wild, w w wild. There's just billions and billions of things and creatures and animals and humans, just every single configurable, imaginable thing. And then what we see, the archetypes that we see and the congregations or constellations or categories that we see, archetypal like imagery that we see, um, so much of that, which what we see on media is like hyper curated to this one like fragment of a percentage of what's actually possible. And then you'll get like art house films once in a while that are just really out there, etc. But just the amount of effort and money and time and all that goes into a movie production, for example, like you can't just F around. You, you can't you can't just F around and make whatever, you know. But all the hidden moments in life, I remember hearing someone say like 99%, I don't know, 99% of everything that you'll ever do is just never going to be seen or heard by anyone. So life is really just so private. It's all these just private moments in your own mind, your own experience. And we're all like that. And I don't know, it's kind of magical. But, um, all right talking about nothing for another five minutes. So that's par for the course on this channel. So far, so good. Um, if I had anything going on in my life, I would tell you about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, I have a lot of emotional stuff going on right now that is good, that's like working on itself in my mind. Um, I'm, I am, I just started reading a book that I bought years ago that I was really looking forward to. Um, and it's called Dreams of Light by Andrew Holacek. Um, so you can check that out if that seems interesting. It's, I'm not gonna give a synopsis of it, but if you're interested in lucid dreaming or, I only just read the first few pages, but it talks about the nighttime practice of essentially becoming awake during your sleep. And then it's corollary or it's like, opposite, um, which is becoming, 
I don't want to say asleep while you're awake, but sort of being aware of the illusory nature of the waking world of reality. Um, so it's like coming at it from both sides. Usually when we go to sleep, we don't remember anything. Most of the eight hours or six hours or whatever we get, except for like one minute of dreams when we wake up usually. But apparently it's possible to, I mean, I've, I used to, I did practice lucid dreaming for a little while back in the day and I did have some success and had several lucid dreams and was able to actually get in there and kind of control things. And it's pretty, it's a wild world, very different feeling than this one. And, um, yeah, apparently if you want to, you can really kind of be quite awake and aware through a lot of the sleep, even the deep sleep where you're not dreaming. So just like the background of awareness where you've got, you're just aware of it. And then there's like, I'm asleep and I'm dreaming and then I wake up in the morning and it's kind of, that's all just played out somehow. Um, so this book, Dreams of Light, I guess maybe is going to talk about how practices for being able to start to break down the kind of you know, the reified, like, 3D reality thing that we just kind of see with our senses all day long while we're walking around and to start to be able to maybe find more fluidity in that and more, um, uh, well, was that really a thumbs up? I, I would hardly call that a thumbs up. Did I do, did I actually? All right, you know what? What's the name of this feature? I just want to know. Uh, we'll say... I typed, I googled photo booth gestures. That's just, I don't know. Um, it's called gesture recognition. Um, gesture rec yeah, I don't need to know what gesture recognition is in general, duh. Recognizing gestures. I'm talking about Apple. Aren't you smart, computer? Um, gestures. What a weird word that is, gestures. Just, no, I'm not talking about gestures on the trackpad, guys. Sorry if you're watching the video, I'm just navigating the web at the moment. Reactions. Okay. Reactions. All right, they're called reactions, not gesture recognition. I mean, it is recognizing a gesture, but... <laughs> but it's... Uh, so here's what we've got. That's the hearts. We've got balloons. We've got thumbs up, obviously. Thumbs down, which reminds you of that scene in Gladiator. It's classic. Um, supposedly, are they making a sequel? Fuck, wait, this is Rain? Ugh, they're hating on Rain. That's um, Stormy Rain. Confetti. And fireworks. And lasers. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Now, I mean, I'm color me unimpressed. I mean, I'm neutral on that, really. I'm neutral on it. I'm not, I'm not gonna say. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's important to, to have the head in the frame? Or does it not matter if the head is cut off? What do you think? Do you think it's important to sit up straight and kind of have good posture? Do you think it's important to try to pay attention and make eye contact and have clarity? Or is it fine to just be like, yeah, whatever, and just slouch over and not care about what you look like or what you feel like? What do you guys think? I mean, obviously I'm tired and I want to go to bed, so <laughs> that's what I think. But I did want to just make a video. That's not a gesture though. That's not a gesture. <sighs> Computers. Computers. Internet. Internet. Water. 
That was fun. The water splashed up onto my nose. My nose is kind of weirdly asymmetrical. Oh, well, obviously it's asymmetrical because it's broken. But be besides that, the nostrils are like, oh, I guess that's not happening now. There was a weird thing where one of the nostrils was closing and the other one wasn't. A weird thing. <laughs> wow. This is the face I will be living with. Perhaps, probably, most likely. We don't really know anything about what's happening now and we don't know anything about well there is no future but if there was a future we certainly don't know i mean honestly if we know something now we know it then too so i don't really know i think my perception of time is going to change very rapidly or very drastically um rapidly is obviously not the right word there i think my perception of time is going to change significantly radically or something like that that's my guess so i don't know how everyone feels about that but i feel like this is one of those videos i'm going to post it and it's probably going to get no views or like a handful of views and because there's literally nothing to this is so completely incoherent my vibe if you will or my energy is just like zero um i could just lean into that and just accept it and just relax and be like, all right, cool, I'm freaking tired, but I'm making a video. I feel like I am doing that to a certain extent, but why am I trying to stay awake to do this? Like, what is the point? It's 8.48. I guess it's still early. It feels early. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's like normally right now I'd want to be doing active, creative activities before bed, but it's just, I'm just too... I don't know. Do you guys have a face too? Do you have skin? Do you like your skin? What does it feel like? Just curious. What do you guys, what do you think about faces? Like, do you think about faces? Do you look at your face? Are you interested in it or not? Do you, or do you just go about your life? Cause like before they had mirrors before they had ponds and water. How did people see? Oh, I guess they probably just looked at each other in the reflections of eyes in the sun, right? Is that what people did? Before there were like flat reflective surfaces. Um, really, what did you have? You had pools of water you had eyes. Um, what else was there? Like rocks, trees, just stone and earth and f plants and wow. Yeah, I don't know that there was anything. Not that I'm thinking of. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, before... I'm talking like the pre... Um, I don't know what you call it, the Iron Age? Pre, I'm not like a historian, but pre-metalworking and such as well, so... Try to imagine what it was like. What it would be like if you just couldn't see your own self, your face. Would you really be aware of, because you know you can see your nose. I think people used to be probably really aware of that and now I just never notice it. I can see a little bit of my nose and a little like in my, because how do people see? How do people, um, where do people like see themselves from? Do people see themselves from up here and, or do, do like, how do you see the world? Do you see it as just this total open like thing? Do you see behind yourself? Do you feel behind yourself? Or do you really feel very much forward? Like there's a screen in front of you? Or do you feel like totally 3D and sort of like your consciousness could be just anywhere? Or, or, or is it more just like this? Mine's often more like a, a forward, forward thing. 
pointed, very pointed. And then it gets scattered. Scatter brain. Scatter brain. So, I like this. I really do. I think I might just maybe do this for a while. My skin is kind of like silly, buddy. It's crazy. It's always been this way. Like, wow, that's a wild. Especially, yeah, look at those. All right. I think that's it. I think we're done calling it 8 53 p.m. it's been fun it's been I mean it's been a joy and a pleasure to be here as always I am grateful to have had another day on planet earth um, and I wasn't in excruciating amounts of pain today I mean I haven't really been in severe severe pain in quite a while so I'm definitely very grateful for that um, counting my blessings etc like that's a phrase people say and etc 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 etc